Hi, I'm Mary Malari, and I'm here today to show you how to make a library card record book. Uh, this is uh, what it looks like. It's an accordion style book, and it holds library cards that then you would fill with the names of the books that you've been reading. It's a great project, and I think you'll enjoy making it. Let's look at the parts of the kit. The front of it has the instruction uh, page, and when I flip this over, you'll see that there's a page also of clip art. There are library cards, pockets, some s stickers, glue stick, and a roll of washi tape. So we're going to put all of those to use to make this project. And we'll start with the library pockets. This is what they look like, and we have six of them. They'll each hold two cards. And the first step is to measure the side of the uh, card, and this is two and a half inches. You will need a ruler, a pencil, and a pair of scissors to uh, go on with this project as well. So I would cut uh, my washi tape in, in uh, pieces, and what I like to do is work on a surface that where I can lift this afterward, I, it's not stuck permanently, and I'll roll out a length of this and measure, I, with that two and a half inch measurement, I often do two and a fourth inch pieces of washi tape, but that's totally up to you. So I would cut 10 of these actually, so that I can keep going with my project, and I'll show you how I, I put them together on another surface so I can simply peel them off. And so we'll start by applying the washi tape to as a hinge for this last pocket. I bring the edges close together, right, right up next to each other, and with a glue stick. Now the glue stick you get will be clear or white. This is purple today so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to apply it on both pockets, and then I'm going to take a piece of my washi tape that I've cut, and I'm going to put the glue stick on the back of that as well. So what we're doing here is making the washi tape stronger to act as a hinge. Now, I'll put this down and you kind of need to be careful, but in case you don't get it exactly how you want it the first time, you can peel it off and reposition it a bit and all will be well. When it's in the position you like, then what you need to do is rub this and make sure that it's a really firm hold. And then I'll flip it over to the other side and do the same thing. Apply the washi tape, or the, I'm sorry, the glue stick here, and then use another piece of washi tape. And this, oh, I forgot to put the tape, the glue stick, that'll happen to you. And we'll put it some more on the back. And then I'll make this hinge also. And rub that into place. So we have two sets now of pockets. And just to point out, this is the front, so we'll always make sure that all of them are in the same direction. And I like working with three at a time, in a small workspace especially. But now I, the next step would be to use that same technique with washi tape and glue stick to build your piece of, uh, your strip of six pockets. And I have one done that we'll bring up to look at. It uh, looks the same, and there are uh, washi tape on the back as well. So what, what I like to do now is set this aside so that glue dries and it cures, and we'll go next to the uh, library cards. Here you see that I've labeled the cards for each month of the year, and you'll see also that they look a little different from the ones that you're going to get in your kit because they have square corners. And what I like better are rounded corners and also in wear and tear, as you're using the book, rounded corners bend less. So I would take a quarter and my pencil and round, round those corners out, both of them. You can do the bottom ones um, if you want to, but I just usually use the top ones. And then with your scissors, trim these off. If you own some paper crafting products, you probably have a clipper that does these corners really nicely, so uh, that would save you a little time. Here are my cards for the year, 
and they have all have rounded corners. So we're ready to install them back into our book. But now we bring this back up because now we're going to decorate our book pages, our book pockets. And what I've done, the clip art that you get with the kit uh, is on a big sheet and you'll be able to cut these apart and then use them to decorate if you like. But this is a project that should be you and your own ideas and your own artwork. So let's say I like this quilt, a quote by Walt Disney, and maybe I want this sticker here, um, and then maybe I'll do some other things as well. If I'm going to put this on as uh, part of my uh, decoration, uh, I would use the glue stick here and back again to using the glue stick on the base. Uh, and of course this purple stuff dries clear so you don't have to worry about it, but yours won't be a problem anyway. So now it's in place. Now if I want to, I might take out a highlighter and I might add a few little streaks in here to bring out some highlights of my quote. Uh, if you're an artist, you trim these however you like. I'm going to flip this over to show you that I've started to trim the back with some rubber stamping, um, hand lettering and coloring with my markers and, and another sticker. So this is you having fun. And maybe you have a little more washi tape, you can use that also. So we're ready then to put the pockets into, or the cards into the pockets. And this is actually over on this side going to be your book cover. And so this is how we're going to fold this up. You might have to do a little bit of pressing here as you form this. And so I'm going to make sure that I, maybe I'm going to label uh, this way uh, for my book cover, but I really like this little tab here. And this tab is one that I made from washi tape. If you cut a piece, maybe about an inch and a half, um, long, something like that, you'd apply it over here on this side and then bring the other end back over here and fold it. And you have a, a grabber tab, I'd say, uh, that goes to help you open your book. This is a project that's really a lot of fun and I hope you'll give it a try and find some other uses for it as well. If you'd like to add a little bit of extra insurance over your washi tape um, hinges, you could use some clear tape over the top. And another possible use is narrow duct tape works for hinges as well. Many other uses come to mind. If you're a bird watcher, you might like to keep a record in this book of birds that you've seen. Also a list of uh, anniversaries and birthdays that you'd like to remember every month. That's helpful to people. And then it's just really fun to display this book on your desk or table and it stands up all by itself and you can enjoy looking at this and re remembering books you've read, birds you've seen, or special birthdays that you can recall. Let me know if you have some good ideas to share on, and you can contact me through my website.